Hi, welcome to Excel Rush. Today we are going to learn how to run VLOOKUP on multiple conditions together. Let's say you have inventory data like this where you have the name of the store, the product name and the quantity inventory available in that store for that product. Now this could might as well be a very long list. So you want to identify that if I write the name of the store here and if I put the name of the product I should immediately know what is the quantity balance out here. Now meaning that I want to run a VLOOKUP on two conditions instead of one. That's what will give me the result. How do we do this? First what we are going to do is we are going to create a concatenate function just before the output required. What I mean by that is you need the output as the quantity balance which is there in this column. So what you do is you insert a column before that output column and let's just give it a name of concatenate. Now here what you're going to do is you're going to concatenate the input conditions. I'm going to select the first condition comma I'm going to put a hyphen in double quotes just to separate the two conditions and I've selected a second one. I close the bracket and say enter. When I do this I get Mumbai A, Pune A, New York A and so on and so forth. Now I have a combination of the two conditions that are required to get the quantity balance. Let me move this here for the time being and let's say how to concatenate this as well. So I'm going to say concatenate Mumbai comma hyphen. I need to use the exact same format that I did before and product. Keep in mind that you must always have the same order as well. So we have the store and then the product, right? Now if I run a VLOOKUP saying find Mumbai D here and give me the quantity balance that is the second column as the output. It's going to work. So you can see Mumbai D is 36. I change this to A and it's working. It's giving me 66. I change this to Pune. It's giving me 43. So it's working perfectly. This is how you can create and run a VLOOKUP on multiple conditions. But what I can also do is instead of using this concatenate extra here, I'm going to use the concatenate function inside the VLOOKUP, put a hyphen, close it. So my concatenate is inside the VLOOKUP and then I'm looking up into these columns. I don't need that extra concatenate to be created here. So this is how you can create a VLOOKUP with multiple conditions. Let's take one more example. I'm going to go to the second sheet. Similar data set, but now what I want is on particular stores and products, I want to give a certain discount. So very similarly, before my output column, I'm going to make an insert and add an additional column saying concatenate store hyphen product hyphen can be anything is just an example I do this now I have a combination created now here I'm going to say VLOOKUP I need the combination inside the VLOOKUP so I'm going to say for Mumbai product A that's how we have selected the combination comma look it up year comma 2 because that's the second column comma 0 now I'm going to have to fix this table array so I'm going to put dollar signs or I can just press F4 and get the dollar signs here now I'm going to copy this down and it worked worked in the sense that only these four caught some particular discount. Now there was no Bangalore B, hence 
there was no discount for Bangalore B. Now here instead of any I can have if error in the beginning comma zero so that when I double click this uh, wherever there is no discount to be given it's going to show as 0% discount. So this is how we have created VLOOKUP with multiple conditions. We have just used two as an example. Concatenate can be used for n number of conditions the way that you want them to be. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps. See you in the next video.